Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Wood Ant. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon where I'll be talking about the movies, of course, the TV shows, documentaries, I don't know, whatever the case may be. If it's related to Disney in any shape or form, then yes, of course, I'll be talking about it. So, okay, I figured I'd do this because, for one, Montel and Disney have teamed up quite a few times before. And also, it does give me an excuse to talk about some other Barbie-related stuff instead of just revisiting the same stuff I already did before. So, yeah, I'm trying to make sure I won't repeat too much, even though I kind of feel like I am to some extent. So, okay, I have another set of episodes of one review of the TV show, Barbie, it takes two, but for this one, it's this Saturday, folks, so here you are. Yep, The Magic of Friendship, Series 3. I just thought this would be a good idea just to talk about more TV shows, even though I don't do that often. Of course, we get to see a bunch of the other characters from the other TV show, obviously. But again, it's, it's going to primarily focus on this too, on their adventures, quite clearly. Yeah, I know, I know. Rogue Agent Killer Dan is talking about another Barbie thing. How dare he? <laughs> Shut up! Oh, whatever, Rogue Agent Killer War Dan. You should be talking about more manly shows so that you won't end up being so confused. Yeah, watch manly stuff instead. Okay. And I'm over here thinking. Stop telling me to do things! Like before, folks, these episodes, well, at least these anyway, are contained in one disc, like in the other show I mentioned previously. But as usual, let's talk about the story, shall we? Of course. In these episodes right here, folks, the thing is that these two characters are really attempting to advance their musical careers with, because they have the talents, but all right, it's not as easy as it seems. And also, to make things less confusing, even though they do have the same name, these two characters, the two Barbies, would refer to each other to the location where they came from. One's from Malibu, and the other's from Brooklyn. And they just refer to each other as that, pretty much, to make things easier, really. But they will visit family, friends, and whatnot. And the thing is that things are not as easy as it seems. You'd think it would, but it's not, unfortunately. It's just that they just need the money, and they were just trying all these kinds of gigs, like side gigs, but they just not turn out quite well. They would have these side jobs, but even then, it's not as super easy as they would like it. So, unfortunately for the two characters, there are some complications along the way. And that's pretty much a summary when it comes to these seven episodes right here, folks. There's even one episode where one of the Barbies do record this song. However, it's a demo, okay, which doesn't seem much of a big deal, so because that's a start. However, something happens to it and gets lost, and yes, that becomes problematic because they need the said demo when you think about it. But that becomes a conflict within that episode, so they had to do something to fix said conflict, so there's that. And... Oh, come on, Rogue Edgy Killer Dan. I'm not being self-conscious. You're being self-conscious. You're the one that's making a big deal. I'm not the one that's making a big deal. Jesus Christ, whatever. Wow! I don't buy it for a single second! Of course, Malibu Barbie is still hopeful on, on what they want to do. While the Brooklyn Barbie... Does attempt to help out, of course. There was even one episode where the two had to do, dress up as cats to gather some money. Well, can't blame them for trying anyway. Intent, I should say. Yes, you should attempt to achieve your dreams. That's for, that's for sure. Do a 
do not. There is no try. Of course, they have to keep the family alive, as I mentioned earlier, which clearly can complicate things. Because there could be so little time in which you could actually spare with them. So there's that. For what it's worth, I didn't think it was too shabby. I like the animation, which was quite good. It's very fluent. Very, how do I say this? Oh, it does quite obviously has a decent budget to it. And you can tell the animation. It doesn't feel amateurish. There's no choppiness in the animation. Also, the character designs... I'll put it solid as well. It's simplistic, but there's quite a bit of, of detail as well, so that's something. The colors themselves are pretty good too. The colors themselves are pretty nice. The, the cover art for this wasn't too shabby either, so it was that. And yeah, only really has one disc in here, folks. But I do like the fact that they put some artwork on here. I do like it when they put artwork on these discs, of course. All this video is a plus. I don't know, maybe that's maybe a me thing, but whatever. So, ultimately, I did think that this was definitely worth keeping my collection. And, yeah. Oh, definitely. I can definitely say that. As for the voice acting, the voice action, acting in here isn't too shabby either. It's quite decent. I like the fact that we're trying to give a lot of effort in the voice acting. And just like before, they do have that one friend of theirs that does have some kind of personality so yeah he's a little quirky in his own way i reckon so i'm giving series three an overall rating of a 6.8 out of 10. it gets a 6.8 out of 10 for me because it's not too shabby i reckon it's solid enough anyway as always thanks for watching and take care until next time see ya oh yeah later